So I did a tutorial on drums a while ago, but it was pretty basic for a kind of deep house, organ house, piano house, that kind of dance music stuff, whatever you want to call it. Right, so right here I've just got a kick. I'm just going to turn the level down on the master first. So we don't get no clipping. Right, so just a kick. I'm at 120 BPM. So I think I'd probably add a clap. Uh, I'm going to choose some samples from The Vengeance Tech House, Volume 1. Not too short, but not too long. Also, I like quite a natural sounding clap, you know, like a realistic hand clap in there, as well as some sort of processed sounds. Let's try that one. And you know, it goes second and fourth beat of each bar. So let's listen to that. Yeah, that sounds, sounds decent. Now I'll probably go with an open hat. Again, a nice, natural sounding one. That's a nice one. For what it's worth, I'm just gonna cut it down Always on the on the offbeat of each beat in each bar. So yeah, get in there, get in there, and then I'd probably add some sort of percussion. I could go like a garage rim shot or a snare. In this case, I'm going to go with a snare. <coughs> A short and snappy snare and then this is where you can put them I like to put the percussion always on like quarter notes like 16th notes so I'll put one there I'll put one there and then I'll go there I think just turn that down as well actually there this is about your own choice you know be creative put them where you want to put them try and try stuff out see if it sounds good if it don't change it so yeah there's your little bit of percussion i probably had a closed hat uh, a nice short subtle one so then now you can hear you can hear it's all there now it's all going you've got your cushion you've got your cymbals you've got your kick so then what we're going to do is add some swing let's just set up uh, whatever you're using FL Studio Logic whatever you're going to have some sort of swing sound. You can you can grab all your drums, and the swing is only going to affect sounds that are hitting on the quarter notes, the sixteenth. So uh, I'll just go all the way. I'll go hundred percent for now. And as you can see, it shifted them. Then you listen to that. And again, this is about, that'll affect your midi notes as well. So your midi notes won't be out of time with your drums. Uh, so it's all hitting nicely. Uh, so yeah, I hope this one helped you out, guys. Leave us a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in a bit.